I have with me Dwayne Job, owner and operator of System Equine in Rockwood, Ontario. We're going to discuss a new building option in barns, polyvinyl chloride, otherwise known as PVC. Thank you for joining us, Dwayne. Ah, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Most people have heard of plastic as a fencing option, but not necessarily as an option in the barn. Dwayne, what was your first introduction to PVC paneling? Um, it's been around for probably over 30 years now, but uh, it was more used in the in the cattle and the hog market at the beginning. And they created a uh, fairly wide panel to go between the crates. And um, uh, the product that we use is called Trust Core, and it's about uh, half an inch, uh, no, maybe not even half an inch thick, three eighths of, of an inch thick and a 16 inch wide interlocking panel. And the first time we kind of used it in horse barns was maybe seven or eight years ago. And we found it just had a lot of stability and a lot of great attributes for a barn. Why did System Equine begin to offer PVC paneling to their customers? Well, we kind of try to make uh, uh, our company a one-stop shopping for everything equine. And we found that we could use it on the uh, on the ceilings. It created a nice um, tongue and groove look. So it has a, a line every 16 inches, which is visually appealing. And we can use it in the wash stalls because it will take a a uh, fair kick as long as you're not in a in a totally frozen barn if it's minus 10 in the barn and it, and it got a direct kick right on that day then it uh, may or may not break it but uh, it will withstand a lot of abuse what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of pvc paneling for use in horse farms the uh, the biggest thing is the biosecurity. You can it's got a full wash down. It's not affected by any moisture. It does expand and contract a little bit with temperature, but it uh, nothing really sticks to it. So fly dirt and er everything else that can get on it uh, can be easily washed off. You could take a pressure washer to your ceiling. You can take uh, the hose to your wash stall and and it just keeps it nice and clean you can we've had customers that use it uh in their tack room in their uh feed room because it's full wash down um i use it i didn't like my recycling containers being on the wall in my garage so i put down some down the uh, one wall of the garage and it's so easy to clean is it any more difficult or more expensive to install no, it's actually cheaper to install. The The cost of it would be um, about double to maybe triple a, a rough cut pine or a pine. Um, but because it's 16 inches, it's tongue and groove, it's already set up for the screws. So the the installation time is very quick, very easy. It cuts with a either a... Um, uh, saw with the blade on backwards, a very fine tooth saw, or you can cut it with a grinder. So you don't need any special tools, any special equipment, just a uh, drill, screws, and uh, a saw. And you've already told us uh, about the ease of cleaning and biosecurity options. Uh, how does PZ PVC paneling compare to traditional wood otherwise? Um, no maintenance. So you never have to do anything to it, not like wood where you have to stain it or seal it uh, every few years. Um, like I said, it expands and contracts, so it's not going to buckle, it's not going to warp, it's not going to crack uh, like wood would. And uh, just the overall ease of it and the look, it comes in a white. Um, the one, the truss core that we carry comes in a white and a gray um material and, and just looks great it's way better than drywall um because uh, it's not going to accept any moisture and as we all know the tons of moisture in a horse barn and what do your customers think about the glossy finish and uh, also the functionality of pvc in their barns uh they use it in in where they where it doesn't maybe get a glare on it and it's not uh it's a little touch shiny but it kind of goes away after after a bit 
most of them are using on a ceiling uh, above the eight feet of a horse stall because you you want to still use wood down within the actual horse stall. It, it, it's it's not good for constant kicking action. Great for running a wheelbarrow up against or um, outside walls. Actually, I have never had anyone using it in, in a kickboards of the arena yet. Um, it could be a good option as long as you want wood up as far as your drag. So maybe your first board uh, is a vertical board and then do the angle with the uh, uh, with the paneling um, would work out quite well for that, too. And where are the PVC products most commonly used? Um, um, give us an idea what kind of barns are using them. And I know you said wash stalls, isolation stalls, tack rooms, stuff like that. It's, but uh, what kind of barns are going for this? It's kind of the whole range. It, uh, people that are building kind of a, a, a just an entry level barn would it, it um, they can use it in their in their tack stalls in their wash and feed areas because they'll never have to do anything to it again. It, uh, it's not going to rot where you have a lot of water behind a sink in a, in a wash uh, area is perfect. And the, the really high end barns are using it on their ceilings and, and uh, anything up above eight feet, just to kind of give a break between the wood and the, and the ceiling. Some people even match the, the colors with some gray and some wood. Some people use the, uh, there's a slot board style finish to it. So if they're building their tack store or, or their tack areas, they can uh, put the slot board in and put hooks and, and fasteners on that too. Do you foresee an increase in demand for PVC products in the equine industry? Oh yeah, for sure. Just uh, from the pure fact that it doesn't absorb any moisture. So it, it's... I think that's the biggest thing why people would do it just because they can they can clean it um it's got the different colors and full wash down biosecurity that it's not uh it's got not going to harbor any bacteria between one horse coming in another horse going out um so I I really and these uh, installation because of that 16 inch wide profile it just goes up really fast. Even the contractors like putting it in because it goes up so fast. Thank you for joining us and sharing your experience, Mike. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks for having me.